In today's tutorial, we'll explore the repeater field. A repeater custom field allows you to add a repeater custom field or a repeater custom field group to a specific page, post, or custom post type. It's useful for situations where the number can vary in time, like for example when you want to create an R team, or testimonials, and so on. In today's tutorial, we will input details concerning the number of bedrooms, bathrooms, and the overall square feet of the house. We already have a custom post called houses so we will create a repeater field with our existing meta fields. For a more organized view, let's collapse all the current custom fields first, and then proceed to click, add field. We will set both the field slug and field label as property specification and choose the field type to be grouped field or a repeater field. To create the first subfield within the grouped fields, click on add field. Make sure that the field slug, field label, and field type are correctly matched with their respective fields. In our tutorial, the fields will be bedrooms, bathrooms, and total square feet, with all field types set to number. After completing the entry of all fields and details, click Save, and allow a few seconds for the data to be saved. Now that it's saved, let's verify whether the custom fields are correctly displayed in the editor. As you can see, the data is now rendering correctly. We already have three listings in our custom post, so let's input the data into our newly created repeater custom field. After completing all the details, it's essential to create a single post template for our listings. This way, we can display the input data on the front end. We added an SVG element so we can upload the icon and basic text, making it convenient to retrieve real-time data information for the specific custom field repeater. At first, we retrieve the dynamic custom field data input for bedrooms. And then we set a fixed height and width for the SVG. Duplicate this div, including its content, and make the necessary adjustments to the dynamic fields and icons. After inserting the image element, we then select the dynamic data and retrieve the featured image.
After adding the post content, we need to configure the template conditions to display this single template for any listing that belongs to the houses custom post type. To do this, go to the settings and choose the template settings. Click on conditions, then click add conditions and select post type to specify which post type will use this template. In our tutorial, we select houses and then save. Return to the dashboard, navigate to settings, then click on permalinks and proceed to save the permalinks again. This ensures that any changes or updates you have made to your permalink structure are applied correctly. To make sure the data appears correctly on the website's front page, go to the home page and click on each listing to see if the information displays as it should. Clearly, all the information is displaying accurately. This demonstrates the process of creating and rendering repeater fields using the ACPT plugin and bricks. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.